So here we are on the 18th of Trump International, a lovely par 5, and I've laid up to sort of an area I'm happy with, which is 100 yards. And for me, that's sort of a half swing, which gives my pitching wedge. It's going to travel around about 100, so I'm happy with that. But it's important that if you're trying to find your own yardages, discover which one is good for you. Do, do you either feel like it's a half swing, in which case you can measure that, or is it a feel you have? Normal swing, but I'm going to change the speed of that to half the speed, whatever that half speed is for you. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate just my, my half shot. There's no wind here today, 100 yards should be the halfway back all the way through, comfortable speed. That felt about right, I think the yardage is pretty good. So let's assume we've got a bit of a wind here. So same scenario, 100 yards, but straight into wind. That can be a one shot, one club wind, a two club wind, but without getting too complicated, I mean, and we have a bag with different numbers on the club, so let, the simplest thing is to maintain your technique, but just change clubs. So let's just say it's a one club wind. I'm gonna hit the nine iron instead of a pitching wedge, and the reason I wouldn't hit this harder is the harder I hit it, the more spin I get on it, the higher it goes, and that destroys the whole, the whole process. So I'm gonna lose control by doing that. So I'm gonna hit the same swing, different club. This is going to go in a little lower but I'm hoping that the wind is going to hold that down and it's going to keep it about the 100 yards. So I think it's a similar shot, similar distance, however I've just changed nothing other than the club, really important. Now downwind's a tiny bit different. For example, if it's a one club wind or a two club wind, what goes on there is that the wind affects it and keeps the ball down. So I wouldn't hit the pitching wedge because it's actually going to go in too flat. Then I'd have to change the speed, then it gets more difficult, don't like that. So I'm going to keep to my half swing back with my 54. So I'm going to allow for the wind to knock the ball down, but the wind's also going to help carry it a bit further if I hit it just a little bit harder. So I'm not changing my swing length, just hit a little bit harder. The wind knocks it down, but it still goes the right distance. So without getting too complicated and changing you know, grip positions and swing speeds and things like that, stick to a proven swing, just change the clubs accordingly and you're, you know, you're going to score way better.